In the first part of the video, I'm going to show you how to set up Discord. Please make sure that you are on the registration website of Discord. Then you just need to fill out all of the required information. As soon as you filled out all of the required informations, please make sure that you check the terms of service and the privacy policy. Now press continue. After that, they want to make sure that you are not on robot, so please click the pictures they require. Now your Discord account is all set up. Please make sure that you verified your email as well for the Discord account. In the second part, I will show you how to set up Patreon. Please make sure that you are on patreon.com slash the master. Now scroll all the way down to first change your currency. For this example, we are on British Pounds, so just switch it to US Dollars and continue. Now on the top right side, press Login, then Sign Up, fill out your username, email and password and then press Sign Up. Now you have to confirm your email. Now you are back to your Patreon account. So just select your country, save, go back to account, check your currency if it's on US dollars. If it's not, change it to US dollars, click it, update. Then go back to your settings, press more, then connect the apps, and then you just connect Discord to your account. Please be sure that you check your account which is connected. To make sure that your Patreon is connected to Discord, go to Discord, then settings, then authorized apps and then you will see Patreon popping up there. So let's get back to patreon.com slash the master. Please be sure that you are logged in on the left side. Then choose your package, payment details, card or PayPal. Fill it out and just press subscribe now. Now back to Patreon. In my example you see my membership is BSC. We go to Discord. We will see announcements that we have the DR Academy there and we are in BSC channel. If you are still not connected to Discord, go back to Patreon, membership, scroll down, Discord community, connect to Discord and reconnect. In the third part I'm gonna show you how to set up your DR Lens. To create a new account, when you are on this web page, click the sign up button, enter your email address you used on Patreon, enter your password and click sign up. Sometimes you might encounter a 401 error. In order to fix this, please make sure you open a new tab, enter the drlens.master.com link and if you are logged in, you should be able to access the platform like in this case. Fourth part is all about getting access to drive and trip indicator. To get access to drive and trip indicator, go on the Academy Discord, create a ticket, drive support, click on your ticket, now you need to provide us with your trading view username. And tell us for which indicator you need access for.
Last but not least, we will get you access to the community website. To get access to the academy website, open up your Discord, scroll down until you see the category called DR support. There you see the channel create a ticket. If you don't see this channel, click on the category name so that the arrows is pointing down. This channel provides you with three options. Click the middle one, purchase support. Give it a second and it's creating a ticket for you. Click on the ticket name to open your ticket. In this ticket, you have to provide us with the purchase date and your Patreon email. As soon as you have sent the message, you can take Mega and Needle. When they responded with done, you should have received an email from Academy Support. Make sure to check your spam folder as well. This email contains a link that allows you to set a password for your account. Once you have entered your password, click save, go back to your email and press the link on the bottom. Now you can log in with your email and password. The last part of the introduction is to show you how the community website works. Welcome to the Academy website. On the left panel you can see activity feed. By clicking on it you will see all of the activities of your group members or the people you are following or you are having a connection. You can also like a post, quickly reply or join a discussion. On the right side you can see which members are online, what are the latest news and videos and how much your profile is already completed. If you are done, it will disappear. Let's go to my profile. You go on my profile to add a profile picture, just click on it and then drag and drop your profile picture there. Now you can just crop it that it looks nice on the right side. By pressing crop photo, you will assign your new profile picture. Let's change your cover photo. This is gonna be your header of your profile. By just dragging and dropping your file you want to have there, it's uploading and saving automatically. Let's edit your profile now by clicking on edit. There you will see the details and the art tag. For example, first name, last name, nickname, gender and birth date. Please fill out all of the forms. If you don't want them to be visible, just click change and change to only me. So it's just visible for you. As soon as you are done with filling out the forms, you can just press save changes. After saving your changes, click on the top DR tag, fill out the Discord name and the TradingView username that we can add you to Drive and Drip indicator. Please make sure that you save the changes after you filled out the form. Let's go back to your profile on the right side and see if the changes are applied. On my timeline you will see all the stuff which is related to you. So whatever you like, whatever person you are following, whichever group you are following, you will see there. On my inbox you will see all of your messages going on. If it's a group or you have private messages, they will be there. You can write your messages there. In this example I put test, you can add an emoji. Later on you can also apply picture, video or attach a file. Last but not least, you can also do a private message. Just click on the top, the button, new message, send to in this example mega and write the text. Soon as you send the message it will appear there. You will see your group in this example BSC and the conversation with mega. Let's go to my connections. In this case, I don't have any connections or requests, so I will show you how to get a connection with someone else. 
Just click on the top header members. In this example, I already filled it out Mega, so let's connect to Mega. Just click on the profile picture of Mega. Then you will see his profile. You go on the right side to the three dots, follow, and you can connect with him. Please be aware that he needs to accept the request. On my photos, you will see all of your photos and albums you did. On my groups, you will see the group of your package you have, in this case, the BSC. There you will see all of the activities going on in BSC group. Activity feed, for example, when someone posts his journal, and so on. In discussions, you will find all the forums related to your group. In this case, again, BSC. We have risk management and the journals of the BSC group. On members, you will find all the members being in BSC group. On photos, you can add photos related to your group. In this example, you can upload a photo and put a text there. On videos, it's the same like with the photos. You upload a video, put a text there, just drag and drop it there, done. In albums, you can create an album in your group. Just put a title and add a photo. Documents, you can upload files or create folders for your group. On send message, you can send a message to your group. On send private message, you are able to just collect the people you want to send a message to of your group and send them a message. In this example, I'm sending a message to Needlab. On my courses, you will find all of your courses you signed up. In this case, it's empty because I didn't start any course yet. On my quizzes, you can find all of your course quizzes you are having right now. In my forums, you will find all the discussions you are participating in. You can find your replays, your favorites and subscriptions. On the top header, you will find the news section. There you will find all the latest news and also the last livestream updates and uploads. As you can see here, that's the live stream from 3rd of February. You just click on it and rewatch it. You can also comment in there. In the event section, you will find all the upcoming live sessions or events. For example, the live webinar on the 6th of February and you can add it to your calendar. If it's Google Calendar, iCalendar, Outlook, etc. Below that you will see the details to the video. What time it is, who is the organizer, what date it is and for what group it is. Let's go to all groups. Here you see all the groups existing. For example, I'm on BSC, if I click now on MSC, I will not see anything. If I go back to all groups, click on BSC, I will see how much I have already completed in my group. For example, courses and quizzes. If I go to all courses, you will see here the frame, the lens basic and the mind. There you find all the courses existing. On all forums, you can see all of the forums, but you are just able to connect to the one which you purchased for. In this example, BSC, you will have the journal there, and then you can see that Nindo already did how to use the journal section. So please read that before you continue. If you want to start your own journal, go to New Discussions, put the title there, Type your text you want to be there, 
add some pictures if you want and press post. As you can see, I posted my test journal, you can subscribe, reply or put it as a favorite or add it on the three dots. In this case, I will reply to it, just for you to see. Test. With these replies, you will always add stuff to your journal. You are also able to just edit these replies. Let's go to members. There you can find all the members of the community. Let's see if I can find Megadeth. I put it in there, filter, search. There he is. Now you can see I'm already following him. Let's go to search. Let's search for our test journal. There it is. In the search bar you can search for anything on the website. It's just an example now with my test journal I just did. On the messages tab, you can have a quick view on your messages or view the inbox. On notifications, you will get notification when someone follows you or is trying to connect to you. In this case, I don't have anything. If you click on your name on the right top corner, you will have an overview of your account again. On the left bottom corner, you will have the tab account there you can find anything related to your account settings privacy notification preferences group invites or export your data last but not least i will show you how to log out you just need to click on the left bottom corner again log out and you will be logged out thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see each other on the community website.